Today, we've got the top five things not to do that can get your loan denied and spoil your home purchase. Hi everyone, I'm Tom Peach with Tom and Cindy and Associates at Long & Foster. And if you're a buyer, we want to give you the best chance of getting your purchase through to settlement. Over the years, we've seen some folks do some self-sabotage, and we want you to learn from their mistakes. So here are five no-nos to avoid that can keep you on the right track to home ownership. Number one, don't buy anything expensive that would impact your monthly obligations. I remember when I first started in real estate, I was working with a young man to buy a condo. He was well qualified. We found the condo. We negotiated an offer that was accepted. But two weeks before settlement, I got a call from the lender saying, it's not going to work. He's not going to get his loan. I said, well, what's happening? He said, he went out and he bought a brand new truck. I called my client. I said, what were you thinking? He said, I love that truck and I had to have it. Well, I hope he enjoyed it because he was going to have to wait some time before he was able to buy a home. Number two, don't co-sign any loans or go on a lease with a friend or relative. We know your heart's in the right place. You want to help someone, but it may negatively impact your qualifications. Number three, don't change your job to one where you're self-employed. Let's say you're a great chef and you're working at a wonderful restaurant and you want to open up your own restaurant. Well, we're thrilled for you and admire that entrepreneurial spirit, but just do it after you purchase your home. Same thing if you are a lawyer and you want to open up your own law firm, outstanding. Do it, but do it after you purchase the home. Number four, don't borrow against a credit card or take out an unsecured loan. No credit card advances. And don't take that new store credit card. I know you're going to save an additional 10% on furniture or a television or something, but don't do it. Number five, if you're thinking about retiring, whether you're in the military or civilian employment, Wait until after you purchase the home to put in for your retirement. It could adversely affect your ability to qualify. So do those five things and you are very likely to have smooth sailing on your way to being a homeowner. Now, I have to give a big shout out to Dave Turner of Prosperity Home Loans for his collaboration in putting this list together. We worked with Dave for 15 years or more. He's outstanding and Prosperity has some super attractive loan programs that you should look at if you're thinking about purchasing. So if you have any questions about the process or we can help you in any way with your purchase, email or give us a call at 703-822-0207. We'd love to help. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.